guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to the finale of Suki Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 in 3, 2, 1, go. Back to Vampire again? Yes. No? That too. Oh. And how was that? Are you okay? Sorry, dog. <laughs> That dog. <laughs> uh. Come here. Forget you. Oh, and now you come here. <laughs> Okay. Of course it would be too easy. Just write about that, though. Yeah, and I don't think we want that, do we? <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> My child, I can't with her.
Really? Up in the sailor room, bitch, oh my god! My baby! Isn't that the pose of... Yeah, that's the Hanekawa pose, because that's a figure of it. And that's funny. It is, but... God, that's pretty. I don't know why I'm going to play an Edifils. Do you want to go ahead and do it now, or you want to wait until tomorrow? <laughs> Just finish the pose. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I don't want your pants I'm really worried about <laughs> Oh, pretty. Wow.
Cutting. Yeah. Shit. God damn it. Oh my god. And where the hell could they be then? And all the books are... The books? What's uh, origami? A paper crane? bunch of grains. So he would just end up taking Sue because she is a fake doll and not actually his sister. I get why kidnapping kidnapping her, a little bit of his other sister, but then why comedy?
Oh. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> But then the question is, how in the world are you going to be able to defeat this guy if you can't use your vampire powers? You, I mean, yes, you can have my best child come with you, but still, what if something happens to her? You got Shinobu, but you still need some other people with it, just in case. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can we just say Ononoki when she wants to play freaking snowball fight, she go for a damn kill. Well, she never does too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can't really say no to that. I mean, that's good about that. You'll still lend them no matter what, but then it seems still useless in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's essentially why he kidnapped your sisters and company, so that eventually you can come to him. Because why else would he do it?
So you just want to go there now. Yeah, plus, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's like a surprise attack. And the next thing you know, he could see you attack your ass from above. And then, so it's better for you guys just to walk. Not to. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. <laughs> but what in me fuck? I, I can't. I mean, it makes the most sense of why a doll maker who is also a specialist. Ends up taking his sisters, but then Kambadu, but then after that, you kind of really got to think, oh, hey, his two intentions are you. So, yeah, taking all three, and then you now knowing about it, and you have to rescue them, his true objective, at the end of the day, is Agarayuku no matter what. But still, I mean, something about this, like, even as she was saying, if you come in from above, that's still an easy way for him to do something to you. No matter what it is, it's still a fucking trap. And you don't know what the correct way is to just like, you know, sneak your ass in. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't think this is going to be the type of guy who's going to have like fucking guards and type shit. But he's probably going to be there sitting there just waiting for them to come with both of his sisters and come. who just, you know, knocked out against something. I don't know why. But something about this seems... And the way it might go in this last episode may be a little too easy. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, typically in uh, TV shows and movies that I have seen in the past, and specifically when they had a mission or something, it usually is a little too easy. And then you'll find out something, either someone's a betrayer or whatever. I don't think she's really going to do that. But I get the fact that, you know, she's like, don't really rely on me most of the time. You still have to do shit by yourself. Because that's something, you know, some people will say, in the real world, that real world aspect, like, you know, you can't always rely on me to do shit for you. You always got to do shit for yourself. So, I mean, but because of the fact that Agaragi can't use his vampire powers, I mean, he is screwed in a way, but he still has to ask for help. I don't want him to use it, but something tells me that the, in this last episode that I'm going to watch in a couple of seconds... He's gonna have to use them for some fucking reason, and I'm just gonna be sitting here just shaking my head and just being like, you just kind of promised you swore that you wouldn't use it, but I get the fact is he has to do everything in his power to save these three, and whether it's a fucking conversation, I wouldn't even be surprised if Hanakawa and Johada or anybody else, like, fucking made an appearance in this last episode, but I really don't think that's gonna happen. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I ain't even that sure it ain't gonna fucking happen. Like, nothing is gonna happen where these girls are gonna pop up at, like, one o'clock in the fucking morning. I mean, but still, you never know. All right, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Oh, of course you would be here. I mean, come on. You finally gonna talk about your job? Right? But you know, something about this, you know, I got a weird feeling she could be the specialist doll maker because we don't really know what the fuck her job is. Then where do you sleep at night?
Oh, I thought you were going to help him. Plus, I we're going to hear the best opening ever. Oh, my God. You're right. Okay. Yeah, cause see, something about that ain't right. God, she made a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute, though.
Yes. Well, shit, I do. Because there could be like a thing in there just to defeat him. I'm just saying. I mean, that, that would be smart, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so cute! <laughs> <laughs> God, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What shit? Yeah, basically a bad ending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? True. Yeah. yeah, please let her go.
Mm -hmm. Really, are we doing the, um, oh my god, it's the, what the fuck is her name? Sorry, I can't think of her right now. Yeah, so, I mean, it would make the most sense. You kidnap somebody, you get killed. There are some police officers who couldn't do that, too. Not all, but it's just for safety precautions. Yeah, please. And we already know, we've been known you're a pervert, so just let go. So let go. <laughs> okay, do you want to like sneak up behind him or something like that? But I feel like he would still hear you or some shit. Same, because there's already so much in there now. I mean, pfft, he's making stuff like that, so damn.
on. Come on, bro. Of course you don't. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't, like, what I was picturing in my mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so that's why essentially she she does what she does. Makes sense now. Yeah. He took both of his sisters in combat. Yeah. So they could go kick your ass or and kill you too? Yeah. This one about this fucking arc about the goddamn cliffhanger. I can just feel it right now. No, we got like, oh, this is like probably a 30 minute episode. No one's there, I think.
Exactly. Like this whole thing's just been fucking staged. The niece? But see, we don't even know where the fuck she is! Yeah, we don't know where he is! He could be at the beautiful Bermuda Triangle for Christ's sake! Well, shit. Oh my damn, he's done. So it just let- What the fuck? Um... Okay. D I mean, yeah, just like that. Because all you did is just go to the back entrance and waited for the right time and just killed him. So that they probably, you know, oh my god, Kamaru and the twins, they you know, they still have Kamaru's house. Watch. I mean, come on now. We got like what? Five minutes left? Seven minutes left. Hmm. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, they all look cute. Mm hmm. See, I bet you she was just watching from afar. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Bye, best girl. Oh my god. Yeah. Th that's what it is in a nutshell. Just to see her murder somebody. That's it. It was brilliant.
किया था थ्री And then finally, we get to have interaction with them again. Like, ah. Uh. Mm, Okay, that makes sense. So there'll be more episodes then. I kind of figured you were still going to be here no matter what. I loved it. It was everything I wanted. But, okay, I, I remember, like, months ago when I started this series and I was thinking about this series of the final season because I knew the Orange Mint song was coming around this time. And I was like, well, dang, this is the, probably the only time we're going to see her. And to know that she came 
hella early and I wasn't expecting her to come hella early and then I saw her and I was just like oh my god my best girl like my baby I love her so much I love how you how they ended it with like you're saying goodbye to her but not really she just went to the crane machine for her to get the capture by his sister and then go straight to my other best girl and to have a moment with Senjohara and Agarajun like I have been wanting that for a fucking long damn time like it felt like forever it felt like freaking years had gone by just to have a moment with those two to just sit and talk and do whatever and just it was Valentine's Day like oh my god it was so good the opening's good the ending's good I can't this was a really interesting four part series I think this might be my favorite out of like every arc that I've currently seen between that this one the one where the darkness was essentially getting Shinobu, but it wasn't Shinobu. They were getting Mayoi. Literally everything about this show. Even though we're not done with it, we still have a long way to go. I think we have like 30-something episodes left before I'm done with this show because take away four and it's just like around 30. But I mean, my God, it just... This... <laughs> just... It was just literally everything of what she said. Yeah, she had to kill him. But, I, I like, I was sitting here thinking, like, okay, Kambaru and the twins, they're probably somewhat in this, you know, in the building. No, they were inside. I thought that I was like, wait, what? Because I was like, yeah, they're not there. And then I'm thinking, well, yeah, they could just still be at home. But then, you know, open up box and then, bam, right there. You're like, hmm. The whole entire time, just covering their asses up. But it just, as he said, it felt all staged. Like, everything. Just all the last few moments of everything of what happened just happened for what it was. In the end, him dying. I gotta, you know, essentially, you know, he's a human, but he's still gonna have crazy moments between all these girls and all these <clears throat> different characters. But still, I mean, it was interesting to see Oshino's niece come back in this show and to just see her as a girl again. Because now I feel like, as I said, when... Kambaru was our um, POV for a couple of episodes, and then we come back to Akaragi. I was just like, okay, we're going back and forth between one minute she's a boy and the next minute she's a girl. And so I don't know why. I feel like maybe the next arc, which is Owari Monogatari, could possibly focus on her. I know it's 13 episodes long, so I think this is officially the longest episode part for season three, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, besides the ones that all happened in season one. But deadass, I feel like they're probably going to go into details of, is she a boy? Is she a girl? Why is she cry Like, why is she dressing as a boy one minute? And then the next minute, she's dressing as a girl. There's so many unanswered questions with her, especially with, like, her job. Why she doesn't really live anywhere? She said she had no home. So where do you sleep at night? Where do you go to lay your head and... And shit, like, I mean, I, I have so many questions on her, him, and so if it is this next arc on her, I mean, honestly, I can't wait for it to see it, because, I mean, we had, like, I specifically felt with each girl in the arcs, especially with Ononoki, like, with this arc, I was like, oh, it's just gonna be nothing all about her, and essentially it was a little bit, like, I would say maybe the first few moments of episode one where Agarayuki and Shinobu are really talking about her, but then everything you just see off the cute adorable moments in this episode with her where she's like an idol and I'm like I can't like my favorite voice actress playing this character and just making me fall more in love with this damn character and wanting to buy a figure of her because she's just so freaking adorable because like the most expensive figure is like almost $300 and I really want it because she's in a chair and there's like animals all around her and she looks so fucking cute I'm like, oh my god, I would hang that with pride because she's just so fucking adorable. Like, I mean, look at her. Yes, she's strange, but she's so fucking adorable. And you're just like, oh my god, like, cuteness. <laughs> like, you have to love her. Plus all the little kids in this series. I mean, it with Mayo and Shinobu and Mononoki, they're just so freaking adorable. And you just gotta love them. It's just, it, it also feels weird that Mayue isn't even here anymore. But I feel like in some weird way, because this is the last season, she's gonna come back. I, I, I just don't know how, it, or even when. But she's gonna come back in some weird way. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the arc, or really, um... Suma, Suki Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for um, Owari Monogatari, which 
hopefully it is about Oshino's knees, but we ain't gonna know until I film that sometime on Monday. But until then, I will see you guys on next time. Bye. Thank you.